Welcome to another episode of the Seeds of Transformation podcast with Dr. Alma Johnson. Today, we ask the question, do you understand the grace of God? Let's take a journey to unravel the depths of God's grace as we navigate through the uncertainties and misconceptions that are out to lead us astray in the midst of our daily lives. It's easy to overlook the invaluable gift freely given to us, a steadfast foundation encompassing forgiveness, salvation, love, and truth. This foundation, often taken for granted, serves as an anchor amidst life storms, leading us to clarity and our purpose. Join me as we explore Ephesians 2, verses 8 through 9, delving into the profound character of grace, its transformative potency through faith, and the rhythmic flow of God's unending grace. Together, let's journey towards a deeper understanding of what we've been freely given in Jesus Christ without works illuminating the path to redemption and salvation in Him alone. Shall we begin? So, let's start by breaking down the concept of grace. Grace isn't just a theological term. It's a core aspect of God's character. His undeserved favor towards us. As we see today, we'll also see examples of God's grace at work throughout the Bible. Consider Noah in Genesis 6 and 8 amidst a corrupt generation. Noah found favor, also known as grace, in God's eyes through his faithfulness and obedience. This underscores the connection between grace and righteousness. Moving forward, Psalm 84 and 11, we see God as both the protector and provider of grace and glory to upright, highlighting the blessings for the righteous. Similarly, Zechariah 12 and 10. Zechariah here prophesies about the outpouring of the spirit of grace upon Jerusalem, symbolizing a time of deliverance and repentance and showcasing God's grace, who is the unchanging catalyst for transformation and restoration. Throughout the Bible, grace is intertwined in God's redemptive plan. Seen in individuals like Mary, Joseph, Saul, later known as Apostle Paul, Grace remains a constant thread in the fabric of salvation's history. Apostle Paul's words in Romans 11 and 6 emphasizes that salvation by grace negates works-based righteousness, highlighting the generosity of God's love because we never need to work for the grace of God. In 2 Corinthians 12 and 9, Apostle Paul recounts God's response in his weakness. The Lord said to Apostle Paul, My grace is sufficient for thee. This verse encapsulates grace who is God and who is the unwavering support in our shortcomings. And most ultimately, 
Ephesians 2, verses 8 through 9, lays the very foundation for understanding, for knowing grace through faith. Salvation is a gift, not earned through works, but received through Jesus Christ alone. So, do we know the grace of God? It's grace. God's unmerited favor working within us as an ultimate seed sown to transform our lives. Let's walk in the rhythm of God's grace, allowing Holy Spirit to guide us. Because when the Lord moves, we move just like it. All because of His grace. We are reminded in Ephesians 2, verses 8 through 9, that grace is a gift of God, not something achieved on our own. It is by grace that we are saved, created for good works in Christ Jesus. Listen, I hope this helps you today in understanding and grasping grace better that you and I, we would all move in the rhythm of God's grace. Thank you for tuning in. And remember, understanding the free gift of grace is as important as knowing Jesus Christ who has saved you. God's boundless grace is amazing. Until next time. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Thank you for joining me on this episode of the Seeds of Transformation podcast with Dr. Alma Johnson. Next week, I'll have joining me wife, ordained minister, and certified life coach, Ms. Michelle J. Johnson. Before you go, Take a moment to share your thoughts with a five-star review and connect with me on social media. Your feedback fuels growth. Until next time, stay inspired and keep growing in all things of God.